Good morning. It is finally the beginning of May and I am here with my brother um, on the Granite Lakes Trail. This is supposed to be a beautiful 8.5 a 2,500 feet of elevation gain trail that takes you to two beautiful subalpine lakes. There is snow at the higher elevations, but spring melt is finally here. So going to be seeing some wildflowers and hopefully some really pretty views of the mountain. As usual for the Middle Fork area, this trail has some beautiful moss. So far this is such a pretty trail and it's so nice to see all the plants starting to grow and bloom, especially with the cold April we had. Finally some wildflowers and everything and beautiful views. Trillium! A trillium! Yay! These are some of my favorite wild mountain wildflowers. So pretty! First little viewpoint has several peekaboo views of the mountains up here. Nice little area with even a little bench. can hear and see Granite Creek down there. Just a glimpse, but we'll be seeing it again shortly.
there was the Granite Creek crossing and Granite Creek is really cool and somebody built a lot of really nice little viewpoints of it and some of the rapids and small waterfalls along the way and um, so pretty. Uh, the spring melt is making it really roar, making it hard to hear me, but it also means we're about halfway to the lakes. Here's some of our first signs of snow. Huh. Uh, been climbing and going pretty far and the trail's been beautiful so far, just following Granite Creek the whole way. Gorgeous. Um, but yeah, now that we're seeing snow, it means we're getting pretty close to the lake. We did find the snow, just across that. Not too bad, but the snow is slushy and terrible condition, and there's more snow ahead, so. But we're close to the lake, so it's all good. Alright, so right up here is the lake where we're going. It's where granite lakes are, but beautiful view of these mountains. The whole ridge here. This is the mailbox ridge. Oh, if you look right there, there's a waterfall. Wow. trail is now completely snow. Um, it's not too bad, it's all compact and everything, but um, the snow is terrible condition. It is just this slushy, slippery mess that comes along with the spring melt and oh boy, could definitely, could definitely do without that. Uh, we are almost to the lake though, so not much further, but should be interesting going back down this.
Oh boy, okay, that was an interesting creek crossing. That's definitely the worst one so far. That was pretty deep. Not too bad, but... Whew. Huh. We are really almost to the lake now, but boy, this last um, 0.7 miles definitely has some obstacles. I give you Granite Lake. The final, what, I don't know, 0.7 miles to get up here. We're all through that slushy snow and we're terrible, but this is a beautiful lake. It is starting to melt out and the water is so beautifully clear. I'll look at the map and identify the mountains, but oh my gosh, absolutely beautiful. There are fish you can supposedly see in this lake if you come, uh, later in the season, but uh, so pretty, so worth it. So I consulted the map, so obviously this is Granite Lake, this is Upper Granite Lake. There's a slightly smaller Granite Lake that's a little bit further down that you can't really get to. This is part of the ridge for Putrid Pete's Peak. This isn't, I don't think, the summit. Um, I think there's the true summit behind that. And then following the ridge over here, this is Dirty Harry's Peak. And then further back down the valley that you'll see coming in, you'll see a Dirty Box and Mailbox Peak. And Mailbox Peak is, well, if you hike in the area, you know Mailbox Peak. this water is. 
you can just see like everything going down on down there. Look at that. And the best part is we have this lake all to ourselves. I don't know why this trail is not as popular as so many other trails around here, but all ours. I mean, we are here on a weekday, but still. lake was beautiful but we are heading back um, once we get through this first uh, portion of snow it's gonna go really fast but uh, as you can see the slush is um, makes it for slow going nothing crazy we're just trying not to uh, try not to post hole or slip and fall too embarrassingly <laughs> but yeah, it took us like two and a half hours to reach the lake, and uh, it's been beautiful. Um, there were like so many creek crossings on the way here, so I'm gonna count them on the way back and uh, give a final number at the end of the video. Oh my gosh, I am so excited that we are almost out of the snow. It feels so good to be on solid ground again. <sighs> Just a little bit more of this slush. So these little mushrooms are called bird's nest mushrooms. And they're called that for a very obvious reason. because they're like a cup shape, and then they've got the little eggs inside. No, oh, there the snake goes. There he goes. Ah! Oh no! Yeah, he definitely just ate like a mouse or something. All right, so on the final uh, half mile back down to the parking lot, and this was a really fun trail. The, the lake is beautiful. I love subalpine and alpine lakes, and Granite Lake was gorgeous. Um, I think after the snow melts, this would be a pretty easy trail. There's no, nothing crazy or difficult about it, but boy, the slushy snow I could have done without. Um, and we had spikes, but I don't think spikes would have really helped on that. I mean, yeah, no catastrophic post holing or embarrassing falls, but yeah, not the best snow for hiking in, but it was definitely worth it. The lake is beautiful. And I think that today kind of encapsulates May in Washington. We got 
wildflowers and spring on the lower trail and then you know winter melt out and snow still on the upper trail but yeah this is a really fun trail out here probably one of my favorites out of the middle fork area uh highly recommend it and um uh here are my favorite pictures from the trail today enjoy